new series called Wake Up Wednesday. It's time to wake up. So what are we waking up to exactly? Good question. <laughs> One of the things that I've been saying is life is on a need to know basis, which I really think this is true. Life is falling apart so quickly and coming together so slowly and yet so quickly that trying to project into the future, like even setting goals, it seems a little pointless right now. Not that you shouldn't do it if, it, if you feel like that would make sense for me to set a goal. And I do daily goals, but in terms, no, I, I mean, I have goals, but it feels like you're almost setting yourself up for disaster because, you know, life is just breaking apart. And the way that I'm looking at it is it's a real opportunity for me to get really present, to live in the present moment as much as I possibly can. Um, because the past is dead. It's over. We can't bring it back. The future is not here yet. And if you pay attention to the media at all, you know, it's horrible. And so you don't really want to focus on the future unless you can do it in a happier way or in a way that feels life affirming. So just staying in now, this moment, and then make a meal out of it. Like make the best out of it. This is all we've got, really. I mean, life is just a series of this moment and then this moment and then this moment and this moment. And either we're present in this moment, which is like, you know, the present is now, or we're living in the past, which is over, and we're mourning it or regretting it or missing it or whatever. Or we're in the future, which I would say for most people right now, it's a the future looks kind of scary. Um, and certainly if we're paying attention to what the media is presenting to us, it's not a rosy picture of health and well-being at all. And so what do you do with that? What do you do with that? What are you going to do with that in this one wild and wonderful life that you have? Well, let's make a meal out of it, man. Like, let's enjoy this. Let's use this and wake up into the present moment where you do have some power. And so the power that I have in the present moment is when I choose to not watch the news. When I choose to find out the, uh, what I need to know and then I'm out of there. When I don't go down rabbit holes, when I don't pick fights with people. Oh my gosh, what a pointless waste of time. When I use the present moment to find my sense of well-being. You know, people can say that, like, find your sense of well-being. Like, what the hell does that mean? Like, yeah, thanks. How do I do that? Well, it's a practice. It's something you have to practice. Going inside of yourself, getting quiet, figuring out how you are. Sometimes when you do that, that thing that's been bothering you that you don't even know what it's been and is bothering you finally has the space to present itself to you so that you can take care of it. With whatever that means, whether it means you gotta change something in your life, whether it means you gotta ask for forgiveness or apologize or stand up for yourself or somebody else, create a boundary, it all happens here now with your mindfulness and your awareness. And that's where your power lies. And, you know, I find that the more present that I am, the more inspiration just flows to me. Synchronicity happens. Cool shit shows up because I'm not anywhere except here. And I know that sounds like, Blah, 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 like, ah, enough already. But it's time to wake up to this is all we've got. 
That's all we got. Tomorrow is not certain. The way that it's going, it's really not certain. I have a dear friend whose father-in-law is in the hospital with COVID. And, you know, he's got a 50-50 chance. It's time to live. Sometimes it seems like people are so afraid that they've, they've stopped living. Don't be so afraid of dying that you've stopped living. Live. Talk to somebody who's dying and they'll say, oh, please live your life. Please enjoy it. It's so amazing that you've got it. There's this movie that I love called Defending Your Life with Albert Brooks and Meryl Streep. I think it was back in the 90s or something, maybe the 2000s. I don't know. Probably around 2000 when it came out. And it's about dying and then you go to sort of this way station and you have to defend your life. And Albert Brooks is just like slogging it out and just trying to defend his life. And Meryl Streep is just remembering those, the warm, wonderful memories of her life. And I was like, oh, hell yes, I want to be Meryl Streep. So there are things that happen in my life where I go, how do I want this to be in my life review? Like if that even happens, who knows? But it kind of keeps you on task or keeps me on task at least in this lifetime I don't know what's gonna happen when I die but how do I want it how do I want to look back on it there definitely have been key moments where I've like career-wise where this has been a moment where I had to really show up and I'm quaking in my boots and I'm just like afraid and feel like I'm coming apart at the seams and I go how do you want to remember this who who do you want to who do you want to look back and see yourself as? Wake up to that. Wake up to this moment. Wake up to the potential that you have. Do you know that right now we need bright lights on this earth? We need people like you to go inside and pull out your greatness. Right now, greatness is required. And if you don't feel like you have greatness, that's okay. Because that's something that takes some practice, especially if you've been living in a life, as I did for many years, of feeling like you're just not good enough. You're just not worthy enough. You screw things up all the time. It's just a voice in your head. I had that voice in my head. She's mostly gone. She comes out now and again, especially when I'm like really triggered. But for the most part, I've made a practice of not doing that anymore. And so instead, I remind myself of who and what I am, and I disrupt that voice. I wake up in that moment where I'm going down that old path that's not working for me anymore. And I wake up. I even do. I say, disrupt. We're not doing that. There are certain things that I'm working on right now in my life where I just go disrupt. Remember, we're not doing this anymore. We're not playing this game. And it's just an old habit. It's like brain chemistry that you're disrupting. And you're literally building a new brain. But I'm not going to get into brain science, which I don't know how many of you guys know, but that is my hobby. I am fascinated. I am a lifelong learner. I am eternally curious. And so a lot of times, when life is really getting shitty, I'll go learn something. But I just want to leave you with one thing. When you're having a rough time, and so many of us are having really rough times right now, one of the fastest ways out is to do something kind, is to do something nice for somebody else. It's like this amazing thing. When you're helping them, you're really helping yourself. It's like a two for one. And we need all hands on deck, awake and aware, bring your best foot forward, there's a lot of bad behavior out there right now. There's a lot of people who are not bringing their best selves to the table. So let's bring our best selves to the table. Let's stay awake, stay present, live in our hearts, and bring some love. Because right now, we need as much love as we can get. I'll talk to you guys soon.